one you wanna be in my space too close to the sun don't seem to care if it's safe well that may in every color resting your head in my arms you sing la, la, la. I don't care I'm gonna post this all the time. This literally helps me create 90% of my art. From custom paintings to murals. This low-key is art on its own. Hi everybody, today we're going to paint some watercolor mountains and trees. Starting with distant mountains, we'll use a purple color and put down a stripe of water first and then use that purple color to make a wavy line on top of it. You can do as many layers as you want once it dries. Now for close mountains, I'm drawing out a loose triangle shape and with the same purple, drawing a zigzag down the middle and filling in the left side. And I also added these details on the right. Moving on to distant trees, we'll use a similar technique where we put down a stripe of water first, but then vertical lines of this teal color. And again, you can add as many layers as you want once it dries. Moving on to close-up trees, we'll use a darker green color and draw a vertical line and then a zigzag pattern of little dots and dashes. Try to make it random and leave a little bit of space to see through the tree. You could paint whole forests with these. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and inspires you to paint something today. Time goes by and yet I wonder Are you and me still the same? Are you still loving the game? I know I don't You cast your spell and I went under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again? I don't know If I again take it anymore invested so much time in this drawing, so much more than I ever intended to, and now I kind of hate it because I've been staring at it for just a little bit too long. I was going to answer some questions that I got, but honestly, I didn't go to bed till after 5am because of this dumb thing. So, if you have any questions, pop on over to my Instagram check out my story and ask
ask away. Um, they don't have to be art related, but I mean, art related questions, I guess. Like, if you have any, you know, inquiries you'd like to delve into, let's let's get chatty. Let's do that. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Anyways, enjoy. Hey guys, so I got really bored and I asked my brother if I could paint his longboard and surprisingly he said yes. So this is what the longboard looked like. There was gum right here so I scraped that off. I decided to use white as the base coat so I just put that on there and I began painting. This is what the first coat looked like and then I got into the corners and then did a second coat and that's what it looked like. And then I sat there thinking, what am I going to paint on this thing? I had no idea. But then a light bulb came on and I began drawing. I used a pencil over the white paint. Then I began painting. If y'all have any clue what it is before you see the ending, comment down below. Then I started painting the edges and added some details. And I painted a donut, which should give you a hint. But anyways, this is the final result. I'm really happy. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it took me forever. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Welcome to Family Paint Night. Who are you painting? You. Is it that loud? Mom. <laughs> and I'm painting you. Okay, wait, I need a pencil. <laughs> we have 60 minutes. One, wait. two, three, go. Oh, short, oh yeah. god. 60 minutes, everyone. Just remember Mine that. looks like a girl. <laughs> Give it the go <laughs> It looks kind of so No, it's the eyes look creepy. So no, but I haven't done anything else on his face yet. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone is at the halfway mark. I'll show you mine so okay. far. Okay. Oh, oh God, that's terrifying. terrifying. That's done. <laughs> just fed on you. <laughs> so now it's, I told you we needed more time. Well, no, you said no. I don't I think we use. need more time. You're going to bend the rules for you. Hey, we're going to see which one I get. <gasps> oh, that's my tough. God. That's Wait, tough. you got Ariel and I got... Oh, my oh, God. Oh, that's kind of <laughs> cute. from heartbreak got nothing in return for my pain I never thought My son, who's in first grade, asked me to help him with a science project. I let him paint the simpler ones while I helped with the more complicated ones. You can see which two I really helped with. <laughs> but we're also told to use our imaginations and be creative, so I got creative.
this man underwater. It's a painting. Doesn't it look like they're normal skin tones? I uh, know they're not. There are greens and blues and yellows and oranges and pinks in every color you can imagine. Blues in the hair because I went deaf, had surgeries, got tinnitus, and now I hear colors. Oh, to the side, come on, step away. Young Gravy just bought my painting. So I recently had the honor of doing this painting for him and it was one of my favorites of all time. The dimensions of it was 36 by 36 inches so I had to build this custom box just to ship it. It's always cool doing artwork for clients especially when they're this big. I really hope I have more clients like this in the future and Gravy I hope you enjoy your painting. Yo, raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego, we pass it round hot potato. Everything is new wavo, I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso, need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. So I've seen this trend going around on TikTok where people try to draw a cat with this filter. So I'm gonna try to do it with my hook. Now to show you that I can at least draw a cat, I'm gonna do that first and then try it with the filter. Perfect. All right, let's do this. We're gonna start off with a body. Oh geez, what is happening here? This is knocking fucks. Okay, now we need a head. I had it wrong freaking way. What is that? It's not even a cat. It's like a messed up zucchini. All right, put some some ears on it. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, let's, let's add some legs. Oh, come on, no wrong way. Add some legs. I just want to add some legs to my freaking cat. You know what you call a cat with no legs? Doesn't matter what you call it, cause it ain't gonna come. Okay, I gotta add some eyes and then nose and then a mouth. Isn't it the cutest kangaroo?